axis of where it'll come. Okay, now on the right side where it said info player start, type in light or you can click on the drop down box and select it. And then go back into the 2D view and press enter. Now a little light bulb should come up on the 3D view and a little box on the 2D views. Now this is the light. Um, double click on it and click on brightness and um, this is where you basically you can choose the color like you can make it red, green, blue, pink yeah, <laughs> white but yeah, um, anyways, we'll keep it as the same color as it is at the moment um, change the last um, number which is 200 to 800 so that it's a very bright light click on apply just in case we end up quitting out by accident and click on appearance now this is basically what the light will do like if you want the light to flicker um, strobe um, gentle pulse and so on like that that's if you want to add effect to the room but we'll just keep it as normal for now um, okay now that that's some lighting for the room it might be quite dark but um, if not, you can change it in the 2D views, you can move it to where you want it to be so that it's brighter on the floor, darker on the top and so on. It won't come up with any lighting in the editor, sorry. It doesn't work with this editor. Okay, anyways, that's the lighting in that. Okay, on the uh, Entities tool, um, again, type in weapon underscore and then click on the drop down box and select which gun you wish to put in such as the crowbar um, and click on the floor where you want your character to pick it up at you can put in a pistol, shotgun and so on and um, if you want to run around in that, have lots of fun um, type in item underscore suit and click somewhere for that, not on the character there um, so that way you can pick up the HEV suit and you can run around in that. Um, okay, now, just, well, just to run through, let's type in NPC underscore and type in zombie. You don't want zombie because that doesn't work at the moment. Um, you can click around, um, and these are the zombies. These will run around and chase you and try and kill you, of course. Um, now they don't really look like the ones in the game but once you compile the game by going to file, run, and so on um, they will end up coming up as a real zombie and trying to kill you in the game that is um, anyways, yep, this is our little game okay, click on your um, the play start the select tool, double click on it and change this little radius over here um, at the top right of the box change that to where you want to be facing when you start the game I set mine to 255 and see how when I click apply it changes where the player start is facing so that it will be facing where the monsters are yeah. okay so yeah that's that so yeah that's your little map and um, we want to save it so let's go file save and it's vital that you try and create a new folder for where you want your um, maps to be saved to because they are saved as a VEMF which is for the Valve Hammer um, system which is only can only be loaded up by the Valve Hammer editor um, so yeah, create a new folder for that um, and then save it as anything that you want for Half-Life 2 I'm just going to save mine as Half-Life 2 tutorial. Okay, go save. And go file, run. And be sure that everything's on normal, normal, normal. And you can turn on high dynamic lighting if you want to. But that just makes it compile slower. Okay. So um, click on don't run game after compiling or your map will have problems from time to time. Okay, click OK and I'll get back to you. Okay, back after it's compiled. 
see how it says three seconds elapsed in executing the file to where your um, directory is to your Half-Life 2 folder see how it says here um, yep now now this is saved straight into your Half-Life 2 um, directory so it should already be in the game so let's load up the game and I'll be right back again okay I'm back again Okay, and once you're in um, Half-Life 2, um, go into console by pressing the little wavy button beside 1, and type in map, space, and the name of um, your map, which in my case was HL2 underscore tutorial. Press enter and it should start loading the map. And here we are in the map. And, yeah. and have fun mapping! And be sure to log into all my other maps, which I shall be making later on. Thanks, and have fun map making. See ya.